Bless up, bless up, bless up, bless up, y'all. How you doing? How you doing? Bless up, bless up. It's another day that the Lord has made, y'all. We got to rejoice and be glad in it. How y'all doing today? How y'all doing? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me get this camera right. How y'all doing? Bless up. I pray everybody's having a blessed and wonderful Friday. Happy Good Friday, everybody. Happy Good Friday. How y'all doing? How you doing? How you doing? Bless up. Bless up. Remember today is the day that they marched Jesus up to the hill of Calvary to nail him to the cross. They hung him wide and stretched him long, nailing, him, nailing nails in his hands, y'all, piercing him in his side, y'all, nailing him in his feet, y'all. How would you like to be nailed in the hands, nailed in the feet, pierced in the side, have thorns around your head? Remember today that Jesus died and suffered. He suffered first of all for us, and then he died. But remember, he suffered. He truly suffered for our sins, for us to have life and have it more abundantly. Who wouldn't serve a, a man that, that gave his life for you? Someone that laid down, someone that never did nothing wrong in the world, but seemed like he may have done it the way he was abused by people, by us in this world. But he never did one thing that was not of God, that was not good and perfect. But we every day, we're doing everything but the right thing. And we're still getting blessed. We're still being highly favored by the Lord. But today, God is saying today. Today, it should be a change in you. Today, you should want to do better. Today, when you think about what I had to go through for you, you ought to do better today. This weekend. Easter Sunday, Resurrection Sunday. Yes, I said it before. The church is going to be packed if the church doors are open because everybody want to go show their new outfits off. Everybody want to be seen on Resurrection Sunday. But what are you doing? What are you doing? If I get copyrights, I'm going to kill my grandsons up in there, y'all. I ain't going to kill them, but I'm going to hurt them. They better turn that music down. Turn that music down. Y'all, I'm fussing at them. I'm going to... Yeah, see, see how the devil works? The devil is busy. Y'all better put on the full armor of God and you better stay prayed up and in the word because Satan is busy. He's attacking us through our family, through our children, our grandchildren, our sisters, our brothers, our cousins, whoever he can use. He'll attack you in this season, but we got to let him know that we have all power. He has no authority over our life because Jesus died and rose that we might have the power to rebuke Satan. In everything we do, whenever he attack us, we got the power. So if it's sickness, if it's death, whatever you're going through, financial situations, needing a place to live and can't find one. In this season, God says, be still and watch my signs and wonders and pay attention and do better. Do better. He just wants us to do better. God wants us to do better in this world. He's given us a chance each and every day that he wakes us up. Another opportunity to do better, y'all. We got to do better. We got to do better. We keep forgetting two things about his commandments. To feed the hunger. 
to clothe the needy and visit the sick. Matthews 25, 37 and 40 states that. First, we forget that this is a command and is and it is not optional. Something the Lord hopes we might find time to do along life's way. While attending to more important matters, Jesus honestly expects his people to do this. Now it seems that many churches are taking this seriously and are involving their people in strong ministries, including the down and out, the voiceless, and even the forgotten. Everybody now is finding a place to be used in God's service and God's purpose for your life. Second, we do these things unto the least of these, my brethren. He takes it personally. We are to do good to everyone. But brother and sisters in Christ have first dibs in our system. If we find our brothers and sisters deeply in Christ, rooted and grounded in Christ, y'all, and we see them, hey, Jesus, in need in this time, in this season, while we're going through the pandemic and all that's going on, death and everything that's around us, sickness, depression, anxiety, we have to be there for our brothers and sisters in Christ. And God is expecting for us to do that. Hold on, y'all. Hold on one second. Give me a minute because I ain't finna deal with it. Yes, I'm back. Excuse me. I'm sorry, y'all. Forgive me. Forgive me. Satan is trying to get busy, but I rebuke him in the name of Jesus. See that music of today, these young children. He, see, when you, you, you can't tell uh, grown folks what to listen to. All you can do is try to tell them and pray for them and hope one day they'll learn for themselves that that ain't what it's all about. You need to be finding the word of the Lord. And I'm talking to my grand because they're in the background. You need to be trying to find the word of the Lord. Get in it and know that he is the one that wake you up every morning. Start you on your journey when you want to run the streets. Is God that's keeping you safe while you out there running up and down the roads. Is God that's keeping you safe. You better recognize. You better recognize. Young people, recognize today. Jesus didn't just die for the old. He died for the young too as well. He died for all of us. He wants us to do better. Children, listen to your parents, your grandparents. Obey them. Obedience is better than sacrifice. He said, be obedient to thy mother and father. Honor thy mother and father. Mother and father can be anybody that's older than you that's trying to tell you the right way. He says, honor them that thy days may be long up on this earth in which the Lord God giveth thee. You, If you own this in this world, you want to live a long time. You don't want to cut your life short. So today, I'm crying out to my young people, crying out to you today. God wants you to do better. He died for you and me. He didn't just die for one. He died for us all. Paul said, as we have the opportunity, come on, Jesus, let us do good to all, especially those who are of the household of faith. Galatians 6 and 10. God is reaching out to us. God is crying out to his people, y'all. He didn't just do this. Just to be doing it. Jesus didn't just do this thing. Just to be doing it. Let us give thanks today. 
Let us let Jesus know today that we appreciate him. And I'm, I thank him for allowing me to be able to sit here and do a video. To come and tell somebody something that may encourage somebody, inspire somebody, uplift somebody. But today God says, Jesus didn't just die just to be dying. It was a big cost and a big sacrifice that he paid for us. And we got to recognize that. And today we got to show them that we are grateful all this weekend and not just this weekend leading up to the, the death and the resurrection, but all our lives. Show God that we are grateful. Show him that we appreciate the things that he are, he's doing in our lives, y'all. We got to be grateful today. Y'all bless up. Know that I love you and God loves you more. But I just came by to tell somebody, God didn't just send his son to go through all the torment, the torment, the ridicule, the hatred, the, the, the deceitfulness, the, 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 the evilness, the be betrayalment, all of those things. He didn't just go through that. Just to be going and all while he was going through all oh, thank you, Lord. He never said a mumbling word. He never cried out one time. Lord, I can't do this no more. Father, I give up, but we give up. We want to give up. We want to throw in the towel every day. But Jesus said today, sisters and brothers, my sisters and brothers, this Jesus said. My sisters and brothers, today I need y'all to come back with me to our Father's house where there are many mansions. And if it wasn't so, he wouldn't have told us that, y'all. See, we got mansions. We got mansions on a hill, and, and it, our name is assigned to each one of them. But we got to do what we supposed to do right now to make sure we're trying to do trying you heard that trying to do the best that we can to do what's right by the lord see i'm not perfect i'm trying i'm on my way y'all i'm working I, i'm a working process i'm being worked on i'm on my way and while god is using me I allow him to pour into me. And while he pouring in, I allow him to pour out of me what he's poured in. And I thank him for using me as a tool and a vessel to tell somebody about a man named Jesus. Hey, that died on the cross, y'all. That hung there from the sixth to the ninth hour. But early that Sunday morning, he got up and rolled that stone away. And, and that Mary and Mary Magdalene, his mother, came to see where, where he was. And they said, the stone has been moved and there's nothing there. He got up and he declared all power in heaven and earth in his head. And he told us to fear not. Fear not. We have nothing to fear, y'all. Sickness, death, uh, people talking about you, being mistreated, whatever is gone, you, you don't have to fear it because we serve an awesome God. We have an awesome Father that loves us that loves us so well that he gave his only son, y'all, that we might have life and have it more abundantly. We got to stop forgetting that we got to do what God has called us to do, his will, his purpose in our lives. Be obedient. When trials and tribulations come up against you, go into prayer. Go into secret prayer. Talk to the Father just like you talk to your sister, your brother, or your mama. Just like you talk to your friend. Just talk to him. Have a little talk with Jesus. It'll make it all right.
Just a little talk with Jesus makes it right, makes it right. Now let us have a little talk with Jesus. Let us tell him all about our trouble. He will hear our faintest cry and he will answer by and by. Yes, feel the prayer is turning and we know the prayer is burning. Yes, we have a little talk with Jesus. Makes it right. Makes it right. Have a little talk with Jesus today. Y'all bless up, bless up. Know that I love you, I love you, I love you. Got a package in the mail, y'all. I got a package, you got a package. Yes, I got a package. But I'm not going to open this package today because I let the uh, word go forth. But I will bring you another video unboxing the package. Y'all be blessed. Know that God loves you and he's shining down on us today. We had an April Fool's yesterday, but yesterday is gone. We got a bright, sunny day today. God is truly awesome. He's worthy to be praised. Y'all better praise him today. Know that God loves you. Keep each and every one in prayer. Pray for those you see and don't see. Sheila Thompson, my sister, I'm praying, still praying that God brings you back to us with a testimony. See, God is about to reveal some testimonies in this season. He's doing big things. Y'all better keep your eyes open. Big things are about to happen in this season. So you better watch. Oh, Jesus. After Resurrection Sunday. Hey, Lord. He says. After Resurrection Sunday, when I get up out of my grave and when I declare all power in heaven and earth, some shifting, hey, some shifting about to take place. See, when I roll that stone away, that shifting that of rolling that heavy stone, the, the earth shaking, the earth, hey, the rumbling, hallelujah, Jesus, hey, Something is about to happen, y'all. You better bless up. You better get to know God if you don't know him. Be ready, be ready, be ready, because we don't know the day, nor the hour, nor the minute. He's coming back. But he said he's gone away to prepare a place, and sure as he went away, Jesus, he's coming back to receive us unto it. We don't know the day, nor the minute, nor the hour that he's going to show up and show out. Amen. Even in our lives that death may creep in. But we got to be ready. We got to be ready, y'all. Be ready. Be ready. We got to be ready. Be ready. Be ready. I want to be ready when Jesus come. Hallelujah. Do you want to be ready today? Bless up. Bless up. Let God know you want to be ready today, that you're willing to accept him in your life. Let him in. Open your heart up and let him in today because some things are about to take place. And hey, Jesus, in this world and we need to be ready. He says, watch as well as pray. The signs and the wonders. Thank you, Lord. The signs and the wonders. They're here. Pay attention. Pay attention. And don't be too noisy where you can't hear me speaking to you. Because I'm speaking. I'm speaking to a lot. But they, they don't hear me right now. And I pray it don't be too late when they finally hear my voice. Hallelujah. I don't know who he's sending that to. But praises be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless his name. Bless his name. Jesus, we love you. We love you. We praise you today. Thank you for dying for us on that cross. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless up today, y'all. And know, be kind to one another. Love one another. 
Tell somebody you love them. Call them up on the phone. Visit somebody. Even if you just have to pull outside and blow your horn and talk from a distance. Say, girl, how you doing? Hey, boy, how you been? I, I've been wondering about you. Check on them. Visit the sick. Feed the hunger. Clothe those that need clothing, y'all. We're in that season. We're in that time. Thank you, Father, for your Holy Spirit in your word. Hallelujah, Jesus. That season and that time, y'all. Hey, I'm going to let y'all go because the Spirit about to come on. And I, I'm just doing a video. But when I say that for the lie, Jesus, hallelujah, y'all. Bless up. No, I love you, but God loves you more. Keep all those sick. Shana's Corner. We love you, darling. Bless up, bless up. Beauty, I love you, I love you, I love you. We still got all the prayers being prayed for. Everybody that I, I told you, I, I pray for you, I pray for you. Jesus, walk with me, Tiffany, and your mother. I'm praying for healing. Hallelujah, Jesus. Shonda, you, you already here. You just got to claim it. And you got to show God that you, you are ready to do what he wants you to do on his program. Bless up, baby girl. It's there. It's there waiting on you. God is, hey, Jesus. Yes, it is. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. He says it's there. Belize, I love your sister. Bless up, Jesus. Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you for your miracle. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We thank you for your miracles today. As you move across this land, continue to bless your people. Keep us in good spirits. Keep us in good harmony and one, with one another in good love and fellowship with one another. Father God, forgive us of all our sins and iniquity. We thank you today for allowing us to see another day, Father, that we uh, didn't never see before. One that, that we don't know what's to come of it. Only you know that, Father God. But we thank you. We ask that you will bless us, Father God, according to the riches of your glory, whether it be spiritually physically, financially, mentally, or emotionally in our lives today, Father God, and continue to lead and guide us Then in the path that you want us to go, Father God. Let those that you have called speak boldly, proclaim the victory in your name in hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, on these platforms and these YouTube streets, Father God, continue to move in your way. Move in your way. Hey, and let your will be done. I thank you today, Father, in Jesus' name. Continue to bless our families. Continue to bless each and every one that will come by and watch this video later. Father, bless their homes, bless their children, bless their families, bless their health, bless their minds, their bodies, their souls, and their spirits. In the mighty name of Jesus, continue to go into the nursing home, in the hospitals, in the highways, in the byways. Continue to move across your land. Continue to bless your people in the mighty name of Jesus. Continue to go into the prisons, Father God. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And move in a mighty way all across your land, from the east to the west, from the north to the south. We thank you, Father God. In Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, in sweet Jesus, sweet Jesus, Jesus, in Jesus' name, sweet Jesus' name, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Amen, amen, and amen. Sweet, he died just for me. Jesus, he died for us, y'all. Sweet. Jesus, he hung his head and died, Jesus, he hung his head and died, Jesus, 
I'm talking about Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. It's something about that name, sweet Jesus. Bless up.